Can terzepatide cause major gas issues? Let's get ready to dive into the unexpected world of health with a little bit of farts humor. Today we're tackling a topic that's been buzzing lately. Terzepatide and, wait for it, farting. Yep, you definitely heard that right. Terzepatide is a game changer in diabetes and weight management, but it's causing a bit of a stink, which is an unexpected side effect. But don't worry, folks, like, we're going to talk about this, unpack the science behind this surprising phenomenon, and stick around until the end to learn about the ways that you can actually fix this issue if you're on Terzepatide. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today, I'm going to be diving deep into terzepatide and answering all the questions you've ever had. I'm going to talk about how it works, what it does inside the body, does it actually cause gas issues, and why gas sometimes happens. The chapters in this video are in the description in case you wanted to skip to anything specifically. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more content like this, and let me know in the comments, what's your opinion of terzepatide? Have you been on it before? How did you do? Why or why not? I'd love to hear all of your thoughts on it and look forward to hearing from you guys. So how does terzepatide work? Terzepatide is a medication used to treat type 2 diabetes, now weight loss, and a myriad of other diseases. It belongs to a class of drugs called GLP-1 receptor agonists. So GLP-1 receptor agonists work by mimicking the action of a hormone called glucagon-like peptide 1, or GLP-1, in the body. Now, this is naturally produced in the intestine and helps regulate blood sugar levels after meals by stimulating insulin release from the pancreas and reducing the secretion of glucagon. That's a hormone that raises blood sugar levels. So tirzepatide acts like GLP-1 binding to GLP-1 receptors in the pancreas and other tissues. This stimulates insulin release from pancreatic beta cells, which helps lower blood sugar levels. Additionally, terzepatide slows down the emptying of the stomach, so it helps you control appetite and reduce food intake because you feel full sooner and for longer which leads to weight loss in most individuals. So now let's talk about what you've all been waiting for. Does terzepatide actually cause flatulence? Yes. Flatulence or gas-related issues can be a side effect of terzepatide and posted all over Reddit and blogs. And just like other medications in the same class known as GLP-1 receptor agonists, they all can cause gas. So these GI side effects are relatively common, especially when starting treatment or when increasing the dosage to the next level. So flatulence or gas-related issues usually improve over time as the body adjusts to the medication. However, if these side effects persist or become bothersome, it's essential to discuss them with a healthcare provider right away. They may offer some advice on managing these symptoms or adjusting the treatment plan if necessary, but I'm gonna teach you some things that you can do at home to prepare for this. So first off, why can flatulence happen while on terzepatide? Well, first off, flatulence or gas-related issues occur when taking terzepatide because of its mechanism of action and its effects on the GI system or gastrointestinal system, your intestines. Terzepatide is a GLP-1 receptor agonist, glucagon-like peptide 1. And so it means it mimics the same actions that GLP-1 do in the body. That's a hormone that helps regulate blood sugar levels. So one of the main effects of GLP-1 receptor agonists like terzepatide is slowing down the emptying of the stomach and reducing food intake by increasing feeling of fullness. So this leads to changes in digestion and gastrointestinal motility, so it slows everything down. So this results in symptoms like bloating, gas, or flatulence because the body slowly moves food through the GI tract slower than it normally would, which allows more gas to build up. So GLP-1 receptor agonists can also stimulate the production of certain enzymes and acids in the GI system, which contribute to gas at the same time. So they both create increased gas in the bowels, which increase flatulence. So it's a common side effect of all GLP-1s, and it improves over time as the body adjusts to the medication. However, if it persists or becomes bothersome, it's always important to discuss it with your healthcare provider. But know that you might have some stinky farts while on this. So how common is flatulence when you're actually on terzepatide? Are you going to get it or not? Well, like any medication, it could be common, but not everybody's going to get it. So clinical trials and studies have reported that flatulence occurs in a notable percentage of individuals who take terzepatide for weight management and type 2 diabetes. The actual exact amount, 
can vary. It depends on, you know, the dosage of terzepatide, your sensitivity to the medication, other concurrent health conditions, your diet. So it may be bothersome for some individuals. It's usually a very manageable and low side effect. It improves over time, the body adjusts to the medication, and it's not going to kill you. However, if it becomes bothersome, you can always talk to your healthcare provider and try and take some medications to reduce it, lower the dose to reduce it, or change your diet to reduce the amount of gas that you have. So does the actual risk of flatulence outweigh the positive outcome? If you're thinking that flatulence should actually determine deter you or gas should deter you from taking terzepatide when you actually need it for weight loss or obesity or type 2 diabetes, look, you should definitely get that out of your mind. The side effects of terzepatide when it comes to gas and flatulence is so mild and tolerable that terzepatide actually effectively controlling your blood sugar levels, help with weight loss, helping with your diabetes will far outweigh a little bit of gas. Gas is a temporary side effect. It diminishes over time while your body adjusts to the medication. So if it's severe or persistent or impacts your quality of life, you could talk to your doctor, but I have been prescribing these medications for years and I've never seen that patient ever. Again, keep in mind that most times people don't struggle with this side effect at all. They don't have it. It might be worth it to give terzepatide a shot and see if it's a bad side effect for you, then see what your provider can do. But if it's not, then great. Most of my patients don't have this as a main side effect. Ultimately, the decisions to start, continue, or discontinue terzepatide should always be made in consultation with your healthcare provider, and they can provide personalized guidance based off your specific medical history and treatment goals. So now, how do you get rid of flatulence or your gas if you're actually on terzepatide? So if you're experiencing really bad gas while you're taking terzepatide or any other GLP-1s, there are several strategies that you can try to help reduce or manage the symptoms. Number one, change your diet. Pay attention to your diet and identify any foods that may make flatulence worse. You know, beans, cabbage, broccoli, onions, carbonated beverages, uh, dairy, gluten in some people that are gluten intolerant or dairy intolerant. Limiting these foods or avoiding them completely may help reduce gas production. Number two, eat smaller meals. So if you eat smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day, you're not gonna have that huge meal sitting in your stomach slowly moving and creating more gas buildup because the digestion is slower. Remember when you take this medication, everything you eat will digest slower. So don't eat large amounts at a specific time to pile up all that gas in one fell swoop. Number three, slowly increase your fiber intake as well as your probiotic intake. Anyone who is on GLP-1s should be taking fiber as well as probiotics. Both of these can help with digestion and increasing fiber intake too quickly, however, can contribute to a lot of gas. So gradually introduce fiber-rich foods, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, or even a supplement of fiber as well as probiotics to help your gut motility function the best it possibly can and keep the flatulence down. Number four, stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water to help prevent constipation. Constipation is going to contribute to gas and bloating. So aim to drink at least eight glasses of water per day. And again, I'm going to talk about probiotics again. Probiotic supplements or foods containing beneficial bacteria, such as yogurt or kefir, can help regulate digestion and reduce gas symptoms. So talk to your medical provider about what is the best probiotic for you while on GLP-1s. You should always be on a probiotic no matter what when you are taking GLP-1s. Number six, physical activity. So regular exercise will help stimulate digestion and relieve gas as well. So in incorporating activities like walking, yoga, cycling, weightlifting, whatever you like to do, get moving. So number seven, over-the-counter remedies. Antacids, semethicone products, other treatments available over-the-counter may help alleviate gas and bloating. But make sure you also consult with your healthcare provider because if you're using these medications and supplements at the same time, you can make gas worse. Talk to them. Number eight, just monitor. So keep track of your symptoms, including when they occur, are they associated with specific foods, specific activities. That will help you figure out what you should eat, what you should avoid, and you can also provide that information to your healthcare provider to identify patterns and develop an appropriate management plan. 
So there you have it. That is your in-depth guide to terzepatide and gas. If you still have any questions or concerns, comment them below. I'd be happy to answer them. If you're interested in exploring terzepatide for yourself, click the link in the description to book a consultation with one of our experts. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.